Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I've got uh, quite a bit of a beard going on here in preparation for this uh, shave test. I've got to really work this soap in to this bit. <laughs> I decided to give my face a bit of a rest for a week and because uh, sometimes you, if your skin can get a bit irritated by shaving every day and I think occasionally just a, a bit of a rest does it good anyway the uh, the soap I'm using this morning is the Pro Rato White. Uh, it's got a really uh, creamy uh, lather and it gets right in into your skin and it actually moisturises after I've shared with this. Normally I would have to, after shaving I would normally have to moisturise my skin but with this Pro Rasso White, you don't need to bother. Bother, there's enough um, lanolin or ingredient glycerine in there. Uh, anyway, so we're prepared to shave test a very unusual uh, set of razors. Uh, this is the, I'll just step back a little bit so you can see the, the full box. I'm not too sure what it's made, what wood it's made from, but quite well made. You've got a nice little dovetails, probably oak or mahogany, probably mahogany. But it's a nice case. Hinges are all intact. And all I've done to restore it is just to uh, clean the top and sides with a, a very mild abrasive and polish. And then just applied some uh, linseed oil and let it soak in for about three or four days. And then polish it up. That's it. However, inside we've got a very unusual set. I'll just put my hand over the blades um, so they don't fall out. As you can see it's an eight day set. So like a traditional seven day set but with a spare blade and uh, I can only think that the reason that they would make a, an eight day set is uh, when it was customary, commonplace to take your blades into the local barbers uh, to have them honed so if you had a, an eighth blade that would um, act as a spare blade so very 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 clean inside I don't think it's the original box uh, the reason I say that is because the razors are made um, for um, Thomas Lund and they're easy to get out, they're really quite well made. You just go into the middle section and just lift it out. We're going to shave test number one. I'll just put this box down before I drop it. Um, I'm halfway through restoring these. And this is how they are at the moment, unrestored. But uh, they don't, they don't have that much use, the pivot's quite uh, tight. You can just see a little bit of tarnish at the bottom, a little bit of patina. And I don't actually physically polish it out with an abrasive. It just um, naturally polishes out as I'm re-honing the blades. The, the whole process will uh, clean the blades 
this is another example they're not these aren't numbered with the days of the week as normal seven day sets these are just numbered on the scales you see just a little bit of patina on the bottom edge I'll put them back uh, this is one that we're going to shave test. It's got the initials there, which are A E K C. A E K C. And as you can see, there's a number one there. So, um, The reason why I think it's not the original box is because uh, Thomas Lund at Cornhill, London, were manufacturers and retailers of high quality boxes, vanity cases, travel cases, usually made from Coromandel. Or walnut. And it's cutting through there, okay. The salt started to dry up with the heat from my face, so I just have to refresh that. All the blades are exactly the same, same weight, same shape, they're all up to now. I've honed and restored uh, up to number three, one, two and three. And they've all responded exactly the same. Spotted a bit of a nick there. Yeah, the old Allen block. So if any guys out there have a different opinion on why somebody should make a, an eight day set as opposed to a seven day set then I'd be quite interested to hear. I'm always interested in a bit of history, you know, with these blades. Well, look at that, straight off in one. <laughs> Perfect. Stretch the old skin. I'm having to manage this tash a little bit better these days.
I think it's probably the longest it's ever been. That's not the razor's fault. I had a little bit of a friend there. But easily this allen block just stops it from getting any worse. Yeah, I have to come back to that I think. A little bit inconvenient, but there we go. Carry on. Let's see how it hacks away this. The chin is probably the most difficult to shave. As it's closer to the bone. I'm surprised that blemish is still there after a week. It normally dried up. There we are. There it is. I'll get that on the second pass. This soap's really drying up. I can see, look at all the, all the flakes here. That's dry soap, not dandruff. <laughs> Just dry soap. Probably something to do with the humidity in this bathroom. I made short work of that. I think this cold weather actually dries your skin out as well. That's another contributory factor. I 
because my skin is normally in better condition than this. Got to get the angle just right when he be it's a bit tough. I'll get that later. Get the old tash down. It's drying up as I'm looking at it. Straight line there now. There we go, a bit of careful adjustment there. And I'll just tidy up with another second pass. But I won't bore you with that just yet. So there we have. The first razor. They sit very nicely as well. They very, you know, they sit on the, on the, on the box really nice and as they should. Got a nice broad spine and you can see the logo there um, Lund Cornhill and the Maker's logo there So there we have it any questions, you know, just feel free to ask and any ideas why some, somebody would make an eight day set apart from using the eighth one as a, a spare blade and I'll be interested to, to know. Right, I'll tidy this all up now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch up with you later on in the week when I've restored a few more of these uh, Thomas Lund raises. Okay. Bye for now. Enjoy the week.